Hello friends, hello fellowshippers. My name is Koen Bultz from the Fellowship of Acoustics and it's time for new arrivals again. Um, it's good to be back. We have five beautiful pieces and even the first NAM pieces are here already. Uh, so let's not wait too long and kick off with the first one and we're going to some beautiful gems today. So the first one up is a very nice guitar from Germany. So not too far away. And it's, it's this beautiful M54 from Lakewood. And one of the unique features from Lakewood is that they make the guitars super chic but they keep it minimalistic. So when you look at this guitar, she looks rather plain. You know, there's not a lot of bling except for the rosette here. But if you take a closer look, it's made so nicely. Uh, let's start with the beautiful top, of course. Very nice European spruce top. Uh, zero coating back and sides. But then, as you can see here on the headstock, it almost looks like the headstock veneer here on the back is laid in. The bridge here is a double bridge as well with Siri Cutty. And I think it's mahogany. I need to double check that just to be sure. But that matches the binding again uh, and the binding of the fingerboards. Everything's just put together with so much detail and it's, uh, it's a joy for the eye to watch. <laughs> It's time for some NEM news and we just got in the first guitar and <laughs> it's a stunner. So when we, when we arrived at the show, we were there a little bit earlier. And when we walked over the show, one of the first stands that we walked by was the stand from Kevin Ryan. And this was just a showstopper. So they call this the Tempest and we see why. It's a beautiful guitar made of European spruce top. And now it's time for the big surprise. Take a look at this beautiful kilted maple back and sides. It's so deep, it's so interesting, and it's definitely a rare and unique set. Then, of course, the prep logos, inlay, and the whole team around the guitar, everything is matched together. And we came back a few hours later, back to the stand, and the whole stand was sold out, so we were just in time to snatch this one away. And we're really happy that's now in the Netherlands. <laughs> Now it's time for the next guitar and Pires treated us with a beautiful private stock. So this modern Eagle V is a joy for the eye as well. And it's again one of these guitars that's perfectly put together. So the Dragon Breath Slow, of course the unique modern V uh, configuration which makes it a very versatile guitar but on the other hand also very simple to use if you're like me, not a fan of many and big knobs. Then this is a very nice guitar. But for instance, the Dragon Breath Glow here comes back here on the back plates. And then the caramelized flame maple neck, but of course is a beautiful set as well. I'm just a big sucker for maple. I really like it. So the PRS Private Stock is, is, is just amazing. They, I've never had one that we had to send back for a reason or so. They're just always spot on. So if you're looking for a stable guitar that you can play at any time, always. This is a very nice one. one up is a nice trade-in. So we come to the trade-ins now. Uh, it's this really nice master build, Mike Kendrick, 1966 Esther Gold 
uh, jazz bass. Um, what's really cool is this guitar has seen stages. So sometimes these master builds tend to end up in a safe and are not being played. But as you will hear in the demo, this one is really funky. It sounds super open already. It has some dings and dongs, no certificate. But if you want to have a really good guitar and a master build, not for a price that's too sky high uh, and you don't want to wait for it for years and years because lead times for master builds have increased with some master builds up to nine years. It's absolutely insane. Then this could be a really good pick for you. <laughs> Last but not least, it's a, one of my favorite trade-ins of the week. That's why she's in the show. It's this beautiful Triplo 42 from Collings. Also played in really nicely. A European spruce top with rosewood back and sides. And what it does is the European spruce top gives a little bit more touch in the high ends. So it's, it, it has many rings and bells. But on the other hand, it's a Collings. So it's always powerful, super strong. And it's a 12 fret. So the bridge is placed further behind, so everything together is just this wall. There's really a wall of sound on this very small bodied guitar. And that's what, what, what makes her so interesting, because you have her next to the couch and you play her and you hear all this bass. It's just really surprising. And of course, 42 style inlay makes this guitar complete. It's an absolute classic. That's it for new arrivals this week. I really hope you enjoyed the video. Um, if you are curious on our NEM adventure, uh, we've made a really nice uh, photo blog on our website with a lot of information. For instance, we, became, uh, we got a very nice award from Eastman. So if you're curious about that, go check out our website. Uh, for now, I really hope you enjoyed the guitars. I really hope you enjoyed the video and I hope to see you next week again. Thank you very much for watching. Bye bye. Yo. Cheers. Yo.